We don't want to do snowflakes anymore. But you know what? It's fun to do stuff with folded paper that you cut out. So let's try something a little bit different here. Okay, first of all, we're going to fold our paper in half. Now we're going to turn it this way and fold it in half again, like you would if you were making a card. Now we're going to fold from this corner down and fold it in half like a triangle and do the other one the same way. So now we have a triangle with an edge. Now what we want to do is make something that will join up along the uh, all the way around. So we need to remember that we have to have something that is on this edge but joins into stuff on this edge. Okay, so today what we want to make, we're going to make dancing bears. So we have to draw our little bears here. Now you can see I made him so his ears don't quite touch the edge, so that won't work for joining them together. So we need something else. And his face is too small, but let's try the hands. Okay, I'm going to draw the hands out to the edge here, all the way out on both sides. Okay, now let's give him his legs and make him dancing. What you also need to remember is you want to make sure you don't go over any of the edges that that might you might cut off pieces. Okay, now I have my shape. So let's cut it out carefully and see what it looks like. Okay, so first of all, I cut out here all the way down and around. out to here. Leave this part that's not cut. Go to here. Now let's see what that looks like when we open it up here. all the pieces all the way up and we get dancing bears just like that oh but just a minute here they're way too close together that would certainly be not, not okay right now so let's try something with a little bit more distance same fold fold it in half this way fold it in half this way Hold it in that, that way and that way. And this time we're going to make dancing girls, but this is a little bit harder because we need them a little further apart. So we're going to draw only half of our girl. Okay, can you do that? Like that. Give her some hair there put her hand out to here but only this far because she's got to be able to do some social distancing give her her dress there's her feet now we want something that'll join everybody together so let's do a rope chain okay let's see how this works will we manage with this Make the hands all join together. See, this is what I've got here. And I've got to remember to not cut off at that point. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, all the way down around our little rope chain here. Start from this end because it's easier. There's your feet, her dress. And we cut 
back of there. Okay, take off our extra pieces. Now let's see what happens when we open it up. I'm always excited to see how these turn out. Okay. Lots and lots of rope chain there. Let's open it all the way. And there we have Dancing Girls with Social Distancing. Nice, eh? Have a good day.